Hey guys, good morning. So it's been a while since I actually did a work vlog since I came back from Canada actually, since you guys have watched. I don't think that much has changed in terms of my work day. I called with my manager earlier. I'm basically picking up this new project or it's not really like a project, but more like a new Python script that I'm working on. But this one sounds a little bit I don't know, I'm still researching how possible it is just because I'm going to be basically working with the website itself there's no API I can work with so I think that's going to be interesting but yeah, I'm basically looking into that and catching up on a few emails this whole week has been really, really fast so it's basically a script for some other members of my team to use that I'm not specifically working with um, but I am going to be connecting with them to learn more about what they're looking for even though I kind of have a high level idea just based on my conversation with my manager. So I guess this is kind of like the requirements gathering phase. Yeah, I'm gonna basically just be researching some things I could do for this Python thing. Basically being able to submit a web form, depending on how this app is set up. I'm not sure if it'll set off any alerts or like red flags if I am doing it this way. Like if there's a certain number of requests per minute limit, something like that, you know? So. That's kind of what I'm testing with right now and I do have to follow up with a few other people um, that I've been working with this week. So I will talk to you guys in a bit. lunchtime and we just ordered some banh mi, so just Vietnamese sandwiches and I am having one heck of a day. So this new web scraping project that I've just been working on, it's been interesting because, because I'm trying to basically pass information to a website that doesn't have an API. Like if I could pass it through the URL, that would be okay, but, but this application doesn't do that. And I'm getting a bunch of SSL errors that I've been working through and I fixed them and then I got another error. Um, but then when I rewrote my code and I basically just updated a few of my certificates But I just have a few errors in my Python that I haven't seen before So basically when I see errors that I've never seen before um, I'm usually looking them up to see what they actually mean and how to actually fix them So that is my current process of debugging right now Again, it would be nice to kind of have a debugger to go through these things um, Right now I'm just using the Python IDE So yeah, I guess I will see how that goes But I have a call later on today to discuss more with some of the people on my team who are working on this or will be using this definitely a new kind of project normally web scraping feels a lot easier than this honestly that's because i can like use url parameters or uh, go through some api and just make a post request but other than that work has been pretty much same as usual um, i've been pretty busy just just working on different projects we're getting some new tech added to the team as well as new people added to the team so there's basically just a lot more going on right now and i think towards the end of the year that's kind of how it tends to be uh i hope it gets a little bit more normal before the holidays i mean obviously i still want to get everything done before the holiday season starts so that's kind of my main goal right now as well as i guess planning for end of year conversations and talking about career trajectory because because that is something that is important to me so i do want to kind of make more time for those kinds of conversations and i hope you guys are also thinking about those i know it's only november but time goes by pretty fast and honestly those end of year conversations they should be had you know throughout the year of course but they should also be to share exactly what you have contributed and how you want to move forward in your career based on that yeah that's kind of what i've been thinking about a little bit oh i don't know if you guys saw all the cats in this video but when we came back from our canada trip we are watching we're fostering cats right now and these are a family friends so they're international out of the country and the person who was taking care of them is also going to be leaving the country so basically we're watching there are three cats and they all are really sweet i've had cats growing up so i am pretty used to them but we're basically going to be watching them i believe until end of this year so they should be getting picked up by their owner sometime soon but they're really the sweetest cats um let me show you guys one of them's actually just crawling around right now all right so this is isabella oh hi she's the sweetest girl Wait, this is the second cat. Um, she's just sitting here. Her fur looks so disheveled. And then right over here, you see Koji. He's so sleepy. And we just got like this little cat tree perked up, actually right next to my desk. 
So, okay, I don't want to show you my desk because it's a mess, but... And this is just our little cat corner. So we have two litter boxes set up, water, some food. We put up this baby gate and um, yeah, some scratching posts, the scratching tower. They all seem to like their own things. So I think like one of them uses this and then another we use this. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's raining cats and dogs outside. So very, very rainy. And yeah, right now I'm just eating lunch. Um, I just ate some spring rolls. And I'm also listening to a podcast with Mel Robbins who wrote the five second rule that I read I think I only read it halfway honestly back then when I read it. It's a pretty simple concept to grasp Honestly, I feel like a lot of books that have concepts like those You kind of just take the skill and the rest is just them sharing proof that it works or some stories about it It's not really something I implement into my life, but I do think that she's a very inspirational speaker so I do like the way that she kind of gives advice and achieving your goals and your worth and stuff like that so yeah that is kind of what i'm doing i'm gonna listen to this podcast um i do some more research through lunch and then i have a call after lunch with with someone on my team and then i will catch up with you guys in a bit hey guys so it is after lunch and I have, I feel like some progress, I don't know. So I did get in touch with another developer who used to work on the team. And this is something that, this is something that they had some expertise in. So I'm basically just messaging him about this. But yeah, I also got off the call with my teammate, just went over some of their current process that they have to complete things. And honestly, I think in a lot of corporate things or like corporate environments, there's definitely processes that take very long and teams just kind of do them because they, you know, don't have someone else on the team who can help automate. But we are kind of looking into this because our team is expanding. Um, like we're picking up new projects, we're picking up new people. So I think this is just something that has gone on long enough. And I think you'll find that with a lot of corporate teams, like once they do this really tedious process for a long time and then they expand and then they have to basically update it or like make it less time consuming that's usually when they will get someone to do it um but yeah i hope i can kind of get this to work because it sounds like a pretty big issue or like a pretty time consuming thing i still have the same errors that i had earlier today but i'm just waiting for this person to respond so i can learn more about how they were able to pass data to the web app that we're working with and yeah so that is kind of what my day has been Mostly debugging, doing research, troubleshooting, being on calls with my team. I don't really have any other meetings today. Um, previously, I had one with my mentor, but that was rescheduled. Basically, my whole day is going to be probably just focus on this Python script. I also followed up with a few things I had to submit today, but I don't think it's going to get done today. That is where I am. But yeah, I would love to hear how you guys are doing. It has been such a weird year for me, I feel like. I watched a video on how time perception is very different when you're older and relative to what your age is and how that basically makes time fly by faster for you as an adult. I mean, for those of you who don't know, I am 23, so I'm in my technically early 20s, but I will be turning 24 soon. And that just makes me feel, okay, I, I know that's very young though in, you know, perception of the world. I mean, statistically, that's still younger than, I don't know, like 75% of the world, but I feel like that really does hit a milestone for me because I never expected to be, okay, that sounds weird, but I guess I just never thought about being in my mid twenties because I feel like after that life is just gonna go by so quickly. And by the time you know it, it's gonna be your late twenties and your early thirties and your mid thirties. And that just blows my mind because humans just relatively live a very short amount of time compared to how long the world will be. And sometimes I just think about how small amount of time that humans that your life is compared to you know the the age of the universe and how much longer the universe will thrive and survive for anyways i'm going off on a tangent but basically i'm saying like you spend your whole life it's probably about like 100 years honestly it could go up to 100 years you spend most of those years kind of like working and doing things and i don't know at the end at the end of the day i feel like you really need to think about where you are and how you want your life to look like and making sure that at every step of the way you're the person who's in charge of making the decisions for your life and making sure that 
the however many number of years that you are in this world and like on this earth you're taking you're making the most of it and taking advantage of the time that you have and i'm not saying that i hate everything i spend my time on but i do think i want to be more conscious of where i put my time where i spend my energy what i spend worry about the most and how short life really is when you think about it in the grand scheme of things and not to get too existential on you guys but that is kind of in the back of my mind the last few weeks or so just something to think about it may mean something completely different for you guys watching but but yeah just make sure that you're kind of living your life in a way that you want to be and doing things that you want to do even if you know you might be in college or in a job that feels like it's not your end destination which is a good thing obviously because then that means you still have room to grow and um, areas to improve and places that you want to be obviously having goals like that is important yeah i'm rambling so i will talk to you guys in a bit hi bella she's so cute she's the sweetest cat ever she basically sleeps with us she's always checking up on us she just likes hanging around us i don't know and this is this is luca's chair while he's doing his development stuff and she's just chilling right next to him every time i say the name isabella it reminds me of phineas and ferb i don't know if you guys watched that but it's an old Disney Channel show. I think it ended recently. And this is where she sleeps. We got this um, heat absorbing, heat retaining blanket or rug. Her and Belle usually sleep on this, giving us a side eye. All right, uh, it is late afternoon. I am dead, but basically, one step forward, two steps back. The person said that they were never able to complete their app that they worked on um, because they didn't have access to or permission to. So um, it's already like 4.30, 5 o'clock. So the person that I want to talk to who, who owns this app or process basically, I'm gonna try to get in contact with them tomorrow. I don't know, so kind of going crazy a little bit, but it's raining. So we're gonna go out to pick up dinner, but I don't know. We might still do that so scary i woke up crying it's real and then all of a sudden i guys wanted to collect my thoughts a little bit after this day that was honestly kind of frustrating <laughs> just because i was just working on trying to figure out these bugs with my ssl shirts even though even though they seem fine for every other use case for my certificates or anything related to CAs but somehow with this python script that is not the case and we picked up dinner and we just got some skewers I think you guys saw in the car um, I was already eating them and, and I had some food earlier around like 3ish o'clock so I wasn't too hungry it was really just um, fish skewers so basically just ate those skewers and I'm pretty good for tonight probably I have been snacking a lot though, so that's been fun. But also there's a cat here. This is Belle. She's a little skittish. And yeah, so that's kind of what my whole life has been. Um, this light makes me look really orange, but um, in general, this week has been really busy. Time just flies by so quickly. And I think earlier today, I was giving you guys a talk about existential dread and like the relative time span of our lives but i do think that it's important to think about every once in a while even though it did come off a little bit uh you know a little bit much but hopefully that didn't scare you guys too much but yeah um thank you guys so much for watching i think i'm gonna close out the vlog here i am very tired and i'm gonna do my weekly overview which is just like a paragraph journal entry right up at the end of the week about how my week went anything that was really outstanding or memorable and just how I felt throughout the week. And then after that, I have some of the stuff that I wanna work on. Um, I really want to kind of get a head start on my New Year's resolutions. <laughs> Even though I don't really believe in New Year's resolutions, I just think whenever you wanna make a change, you can. So yeah, I'm just gonna start working on some things I wanna do because originally I thought that we were gonna move back to the office earlier this year, you know? Like everyone was saying, yeah, it would be less than a year. There's no way we would be locked down for two years but then it turns out that we were so because of that when lockdown happened i had basically just turned 22 and for those of you who don't know i just have a late birthday that's why i have that's why i'm a lot younger than 
I guess, peers who would have graduated two, three years ago. Like I didn't turn 21 until my senior year of college. But yeah, basically I was always the youngest out of my friends. A lot of my friends now are already like 25, 26 and I'm just turning 24. But even that, you know, sounds really like a lot to me because I never imagined myself being 24, you know? Like it just sounds crazy. I feel like the last age I remember was being 19. And then after that, it's, it's all just been five years of blur. And time is really just making the weeks, the years, the months go by so fast. So I really want to kind of slow down a little bit and work on some passion projects of mine. Also, Belle is just so funny looking. She looks like a little sphinx. <laughs> okay, um, I think I was gonna close out the vlog, but then I went off on a tangent, so. Yeah, honestly, I look dead right now. Maybe it's just the like yellowing orange on my skin, but this light is not very good. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on post notifications. I post videos every Wednesday at 2 p.m. and Sundays at 12 p.m. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Bye! <laughs> <laughs>